Hey guys, welcome to Gardening a bit and I hope you are doing very well. So we all know that it's the springtime and somewhat happy moment for all of us as we can see new growths on our plants. At the same time as it's the springtime for our indoor or house plants we need to do few very very important things. It's the right time to do and if we do it correct way we can expect healthy and happy indoor plants. So let's discuss about all these things very quickly. The very first important thing is we can report or increase the size of the pot at this time. We can start reporting our plants and if necessary please upgrade the size of the pot. Before upgrading the size of the pot please take a look at the bottom of the pots. If you see that the roots are coming out through the drainage holes something like this then you should upgrade the size of the pot as soon as possible. But if there are no any roots coming out through the drainage holes then no need to report your plants. Please also note that there are many plants for which it's better to use smaller pots instead of bigger one. For example, calatheas or African violet etc. They hate bigger pots as the soil is going to hold the water for much longer time. The second important thing is it's also the best time to divide or propagate our indoor plants. Again, it's the spring time and not only for indoor plants, for outdoor plants as well, it's the best time to propagate. You can take the cuttings of any indoor plants and you can also divide many of them. It's easy to divide them and let me show you one example here. Few days back I divided one of my aglonema plant and while dividing we just need to take out any shoots from the mother plant. After dividing I planted the plant in a small pot and here you can see, here you can see the new growths in the same plant. Even though I did this almost 1.5 months back, it's the best time to do and you can do it very easily. Many of my viewers also ask me quite often and that is what is the best time to prune a plant. Well, it's the best time to do and if you are thinking about pruning your plants, then please go ahead and give it a try. The third important thing is extremely important and that is we need to start fertilizing our indoor plants. It's okay even if we don't fertilize our indoor plants in the winter time as that time they stop growing. But as it's the spring time most of the plants are starting to grow. We can see new leaves on most of the plants that means we also need to provide enough fertilizers to our plants so that they can grow well. For my plants I mostly use Growth Plus bioorganic fertilizers and for this one dose is 3 ml in 1 liter water and then we can apply once in 15 to 20 days. Again, this is the time that many plants starting to produce the new shoots or new puffs. For example, here we can see the puffs of snack plant. So fertilizing them at this time is extremely important so that they can produce lots of new shoots and as a result we also get much healthy and bushier plants at our home. On number 4, please protect your plants from pest attack. Even if they are in indoor, you might still find pest attack on your plants. For example, just take a look at how two tiny caterpillars damage the leaves of my monsteria plant. If you see similar symptoms on your plants, then please take a look at the bottom side of the leaves and there you are going to find the main culprits. To protect your plants, you can use neem oil and for that dose is 5 to 7 ml neem oil. Then 4 ml light hand wash just like saffron, mix them well in 1 liter water and then spray the both surfaces of the leaves once in 7 to 10 days. Instead of neem oil we can also use theta bio insecticide. I have been hearing good news about it and very soon I am going to start applying on my plants. Other than applying pesticides Please also clean your plants on regular basis so that photosynthesis is done the right way. You can either spray water or clean with water and clothes. 
Finally, the last important thing to notice, see the direction of sun is changing and now daytime is increasing. So you might want to move your plants here and there and try to provide them as much as bright light as you can and protect your plants from direct sunlight. So guys, these are some of the basic care tips for the indoor or house plants that we should follow during the springtime. Though they look basic, we should do all these things at this time or else we are not going to get healthy and happy indoor or house plants. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.